Late yesterday, Berkshire Hathaway's audit committee said Buffett's former right-hand man, David Sokol, violated the company's insider trading rules and that Sokol misled Buffett about his stake in Lubrizol, which Berkshire acquired. Now Berkshire says it may sue Sokol over the money he made on those trades. The back and forth is getting very testy, and John Ehrlichman has a full report. John? And speaking of full reports, here's the 18-page report from the Audit Committee, Eric. Berkshire Hathaway saying in here that its reputation was threatened by David Sokol. Of course, Warren Buffett's taken a lot of heat over this. The SEC is said to be investigating. Let's go through these details as they unfolded with these new details from the Audit Committee. First of all, we know that David Sokol bought shares in this company, Lubrizol, late last year, December. Uh, he did so a day after meeting with investment bankers at Citigroup that came to him with the idea of Berkshire Hathaway possibly buying the company. He sold those shares later in the month, but he bought a whole bunch of them in early January. And then we get to the very important date of January 14th. This was the first date that David Sokol went to Warren Buffett and said, this is a company we might consider buying. Now, the audit committee says it was on that day that Sokol disclosed that he owned shares in the company, but he did not disclose how many he owned when he started buying them and the committee also says Warren Buffett was not told that Citigroup brought this idea to David Sokol, that Buffett just assumed that Sokol had been investing in the company for a long time and had found it as an investment on his own. We know that Warren Buffett warmed up to the idea of buying this company later that month after Sokol had a dinner with the CEO of Lubrizol, and then, of course, this big deal happened in early March, and it was on that date in March when the deal was announced that a Citigroup investment banker said to Warren Buffett, congratulations, we were so glad we could bring this deal to you, Eric. And it was at that point Warren Buffett essentially said, what are you talking about? John, so that is one side of the story, Berkshire Hathaway's side of the story. Yeah. Uh, Sokol's lawyer disputes the findings of the audit committee yes. and actually issued a statement to that fact last night, right? He did, and let's also bring you a comment from that statement from Sokol's lawyer saying, quote, I am profoundly disappointed the audit committee would authorize the issuance of its report without the care and decency to ask even a single question of Mr. Sokol. But that prompted a response from Berkshire through one of its attorneys. Let's show you that comment. Mr. Sokol was interviewed at least three times regarding Lubrizol and a request for a further interview with Mr. Sokol was made to his attorney, Mr. Sokol was not made available.